Now, last week, Coach, was the open week for you guys, getting ready for this week's game. Um, what was accomplished during the uh, open week? Yeah, we worked uh, fundamentals really hard. I think most coaches uh, end up going in that direction. We, you know, we felt like um, there were some things at mid-year where we probably not hit, hadn't hit the fundamentals enough in every phase, you know, counting special teams. And so we spent some time on that and um, and just uh, – get our minds right to finish this uh, season for the, with the last three games we have coming. And, Coach, uh, next week's game is against Presbyterian College, um, you know, originally rescheduled. But what stands out to you when you look at them on film preparing for this matchup? Well, you know, um, defensively, really, you know, good up front. You know, they, they've, they've done a good job holding people not to – not running the ball in the middle very much. And uh, so defensively, it's kind of where they are. Offensively, you know, they run a lot of scheme, a lot of, a lot of things they do. Uh, and um, it's, it's really been hard on our coordinator and, and our coaches trying to get a game plan together because they do so much offensively. Coach, your last game was on November 5th against UL Monroe, a game where you guys put up 516 yards of total offense um, against that team. What's really key to keeping that offense rolling heading into this week? You know, we made some improvements. Um, we we kind of um, kind of honed in who we are, um, and I think that we found out, you know, kind of what we can and can't do. And I think that's the whole key into making our offense successful is, you know, doing what your players can do, not what they can't do. And um, and I think we've kind of honed in on that, and that's just made us better. You know, running the football obviously is has been better. We did not run it very well early in the year. Granted, we were playing some very good defensive fronts, but, uh, but you know, running the football better is probably the best thing we've done. Coach, what does it mean for you guys to be playing a home game this week? You know, we're excited about it. You know, we, we our, our kids and, and, and coaches and community, y'all, we're looking forward to going to LSU, obviously. But, um, but you know, we get, it gives us another home game now. And, uh, a chance for us to get one step closer to a bowl, and uh, and that was certainly we had two goals going in the season and win a conference championship and get a bowl game and win it, and certainly with that that second part is is uh, still out there for us, and our kids are excited. Yeah, you know, we can we can have the best record uh, in uh, South Alabama in, in Division One since we've been here. This is our fourth year, of Division One, and you know, winning seven games in the regular season and possibly winning eight in the bowl games. So that's that's certainly a goal of ours right now. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot for your time this morning. We appreciate it as always. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Yep, thank you very much. And so as a reminder for South Alabama, right now at 4-5 and five overall with 1-5 and five in Sunbelt play heading into this Saturday's game against Presbyterian. Game will kick off at 6 p.m. Central on ESPN3. South Alabama, as, as uh, Coach Jones mentioned, has three games remaining on their schedule at Presbyterian this week. Uh, November 26th, the Jags travel to Idaho, and their season finale will be at home at Lad People Stadium against New Mexico State.